What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's vlog we are exploring the hill country of Sri Lanka and I'm taking you to hot plains. As the whole of Sri Lanka was celebrating the Sinhalese and Tamil New Year, we took this opportunity to escape into the hills with our friends on this extended long weekend. We booked the Horton Plains dormitory which is situated inside the park as well as the campsite which is found on the walking trail just in case the weather was favourable, we intended to camp out in the hills of Horton Plains. The dormitory which we stayed at could easily accommodate over 50 people and is a very basic accommodation which provides guests with the bare essentials to enjoy the beautiful climate and scenery of Horton Plains. Above everything, we were so thankful that the toilets were well maintained and clean and that we had a solid roof over our heads this week as it was raining for nearly 60% of the time that we spent at Horton Plains. On our first day, we decided to check out the attractions just outside the park and found ourselves heading towards the misty hills of Ohir. Those who usually visit Horton Plains would also check out the Ambevala Dairy Farm and Strawberry Farm for a fresh snack before hiking the many trails found within the park. We on the other hand ventured into a much more dangerous and adrenaline pumping activity which was to climb the Devil's Staircase. This track was built by the British during their occupation in Sri Lanka and to date is considered one of the deadliest roads on the island. The Devil's Staircase is a set of 20 extremely narrow hairpin curves which ascend the mountain on a cobbled track. What really adds to the danger of this path is also the weather found in this area. We were literally driving through the mist the entire day and for the most part had only a visibility of 5 meters ahead of us. It's safe to say that it kept us on our toes the entire time. This is definitely not something for the faint of heart and even had some of our very experienced drivers shaking a little bit. It's strongly advised that you only attempt this track if you are a well-seasoned four-wheel driver and you have at least two vehicles accompanying you just in case of an emergency. The Horton Plains National Park, an area covering 31 square kilometers, is located on the highest plateau of Sri Lanka and is a biodiversity hotspot unlike any other. Historically, it was called Maha Eliathanna or Great Plains. During the time of the British occupation, it was named after the former British governor of Ceylon, Robert Wilmot Horton. A unique World Heritage Site of inestimable value, the park is of high biological value as it boasts unique ecosystems which host countless endemic species and breathtaking landscapes including Baker's Falls and the legendary World's End. At a glance, the unique vegetation of both the grassland and the forest habitats sets it a cut above most of the island's natural wonders. With an average rainfall of 2150 mm and a mean annual temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. This puts the area at odds with South Asia's preconceived image of a warm tropical climate. We also had the privilege of meeting the park warden and it was really inspiring to see just how passionate he was and how dedicated he was to maintaining the high standards required to conserve a natural wonder such as this. The park is very proactive and does not allow any plastic to be taken in and I was so happy to see how pristine and well maintained it was. 
So we've arrived at our campsite, you guys. We are at campsite number one, and there are three campsites you can choose from when you come to camp at Horton Plains. There is a small walk you have to do up until the point where the walking trail separates into the hike to the campsite, which is about, mm, I would say, 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure you pack really light because you can only bring what you can carry here and it's very strict, no plastic, no polythene. So you definitely want to follow the rules because this place is so beautiful and we want to keep it that way, right? But yeah, we are excited, we're a little nervous for the night time because we know it's been pretty cold the last few days. But fingers crossed and yeah, looking forward to it. However cold it is, you still need to bathe, right? Surprisingly, I really started loving these ice cold showers up in the hills. They really do something to help you feel more comfortable in the weather. However, you can't get into the water because you can risk contaminating it. But you can do a bucket bath like I'm doing here. And trust me, it was one of the most amazing experiences and feelings ever. I can't wait to do it again. So what you see behind me guys is one of the beautiful crystal clear cool streams of Horton Plains and they actually collect water for three major rivers in Sri Lanka. Comment down below if you know what they are. But this water here and this ecosystem is so important for the output of water for Sri Lanka in general. So very clean and very beautiful water out here. So when you're camping here at Horton Plains, one of the really cool things is not only do you have the chance to camp in this very cool, unique environment, but also there are a ton of hiking trails in this area. There's one to Baker's Falls nearby, which we were trying to do yesterday, but unfortunately with the weather was a bit too much for us to handle, too cold, too windy. So we decided to camp in and experience our campsite in all its freezing glory, to be honest. But we definitely had an amazing time. But if the weather does permit, do go out and explore there are lots to do here definitely good to have your fitness up a little bit but everything is definitely doable for all types of people um yeah this is awesome guys most beautiful place i've seen in sri lanka maybe definitely haven't seen this landscape environment and this kind of ecosystem of plants and animals anywhere in sri lanka so it's very very unique definitely put it on your list That's it for this one you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on Horton Plains. Make sure you check it out and for me the most beautiful thing about this park is the fact that you're not allowed to enter it and they're very strict about it. So make sure you come and check it out and stick to the rules. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.